How's it going? It's your boy, Urban Farming Garden, Constant Gardener, and I was a teenage dirtbag baby. But let's play with some dirt. I just put the old ones. Once they're done, once the chickens have eaten all the greens, I just pour it back in there. I just recycle it. Boom, boom. You see me? Look at me. Make it easy. I told you. If you're going to do this gardening thing every day, every other day, four times a week, I don't know how much I do it. I'm, I'll be gardening all the time, though. You got to find little systems and make it easy. So I just throw the old ones when the chickens are done. So we'll take you through the whole cycle. I'll take you through the whole cycle. So I come out here afternoon. Okay. This is an old one right there. I'm taking you through the whole cycle. Here's an old one. We're dumping that one out. Just like I told you. Get rid of it. Okay. And then I let it dry. When it gets dry, it gets cakey. That's fertilizer. That's a powdery fertilizer. So I'll mix that in. You know what I'm saying? Because when it, it doesn't matter, honestly. But I put it in to make myself feel better. You could do it. You don't have to. It's all good. It's grass. You don't need that much fertilizer for this. Okay, so I'm just piling up some dirt. Again, make it easy. I'm sitting down. I'm relaxing because I do this all the bloody time so i'm not trying to like be a hero right now it's a relaxing activity it makes me feel good it's not a it's not a hero activity it's a meditation so that's what we're doing we're just filling these things up filling them up look at that you already know it's coming next right i don't put the seeds on right away i don't put the seeds on right away what i do is make sure the dirt's all compacted i pile them up then we go get some agua, get some water. We get some H2O, players. You see that H2O right there? Boom. I'm going to come over this twice. This is the first time I'm going just to kind of dampen it up. The reason I do it like this because when the soil's moist, then the seeds are sticking to it better. You know what I'm saying? If it's all dry, it's, you know, it's not as – the seeds aren't, don't stick to the soil as well. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but it kind of does for dispersal. When you're trying to disperse the seeds, if they're not moving around, it's all good. We're going to let that soak. Let's go check the chicken coop, see if we got any eggs. Okay, y'all going to come with me. Let's go. I just got this basket. Thank you, Aunt Marge. Rest in peace. She lived to the grand old age of 96. And when she died, we went to her house. And uh, this is one of the things that I got from myself, one of the mementos. She was a gardener, just like me. Love you, uh, Marge. And anyway, so this was a little egg basket. They looked at me crazy when I wanted this. But I wanted it. I wanted it. Because this is exactly what I wanted to do with it. I wanted to go use your basket, Aunt Marge, to collect these eggs. It's my baby's great aunt. That's her basket right there. So, you know, that's an old basket probably. It's probably OG. Look at that. We got some eggs today. Boom. We looking good. So now we're about to finish up these greens because we didn't collect it up. We didn't collect it eggs. We've done that chore for the day. Okay. I might take you on a chore to clean the coop with me. You going to come clean the coop with me? Get in the comment section. You come come with me to clean the coop. All right. Look at it like a shake it like a salt shaker. You know what I'm saying? We shaking it like a salt shaker. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. So now the, the, the soil is moist. Because then put some water underneath before, you know. There we go. I was overexposed. So you see how the color comes back? Because I got the correct exposure now. I was just just look like a whole sheet of white. But uh, anyway, we're using the kit lens, the EFS uh, 18 to 55 millimeter. I think it's like a 3.5 to 5.6 f-stop. It's pretty good in the daylight, pretty good in the backyard. I wished I had an ND filter on it, but... You know, I'm lazy, boy. I don't want to put no ND filter on it. Come on now. I just want to film. I just want to go out there and film. That's why I need That's why I need one of those those uh, cinema cameras. You know what I mean? So when the ND filter, boom, boom, I'm out in the sunlight, crank, crank, I just press a button. I don't have to screw anything on. The only thing I really want to screw on if I have to is a Pro Mist filter. Other than that, I'm not really interested. I, I have done it. I have done it, but it's a drag. You know what I'm saying? Anybody who knows uses an ND filter, you know it's a drag. Don't even lie. I'll use it. I like it. You can keep the nice F-stop. You can keep a low F-stop. 
You know what I'm saying? You can keep your like 2.0, 1.4 with your ND filter. You know what I'm saying? When you don't have no ND filter, you got to use your f-stop. I'm, 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 I'm dragging on because you already know what's going on. We're going over it the second time with water. Second time, second time, second time. You see what I'm saying? Second time with water. Okay. This is all recorded on an Atmos Ninja. I'm I'm editing it off the SSD hard drive right now. Anyway, you can hear my annoying cell phone in the background. Anyway, so that's something that we've already finished. Okay, I put it on top to add some weight to it because we already got more. I got a bunch in there. We'll take one of them out. And these uh these little chickies about to here we go. Ooh, that does look tasty, doesn't it? Oh, look at that leg, Z. Oh, what do you think, Cuddles? Oh, I love it. It's great, it's great, it's great, it's great. It's clovers I've ever eaten. It's absolutely delicious. Where's that little loser who brings us all his food? Where is he? Oh, there he goes. Some fermented seeds right there. Some seeds that have been cooking, just soaking in water. The flies love that. So I'll get some flies and little buggies in there as like some protein treats for them because they can't help themselves. They smell that fermented fermented goo and they just want in. But those fermented seeds, I got some barley in there, wild bird seeds. You know, I try to give them a little bit of everything. We got some scratch for them too. It's going good. It's going good. Cuddles. Well, the brown one is Billy. The black and white cuddles, brown and white, the white one, legs. Legs is the hardest one because legs is, because that white mane of hers, she can just glow. She's glowing right now. I kind of brought the exposure down, but wow, sometimes she be glowing. You don't even want to turn on those zebra stripes because yeah, <laughs> it'll tell you the truth. Anyway, thank you for watching these chickens eat. 